Hello and welcome to another episode of our crypto chart. I am Fausto Botelho broadcasting from Brazil and here we use our experience in technical analysis and with it we try to extract logical indications about the future behavior of prices. Just looking at prices we can have some very good indications about whether the buyers are more strong, the sellers are more strong, or eventually we see some battle going on and uh, with the observation of that battle, from our standing point, we eventually are able to forecast who is going to win such battle. There's a lot of battles going on in the markets nowadays and we're going to take a look in the ones that we're keeping an eye on. But first, let, let us talk about the S&P because uh, as I've been saying here, in the channel there is a major event that I'm waiting for it's taking longer I have to confess much longer than I thought it would last but maybe there's something there's a gift for us today charts are giving us a yeah well just take a look at that I'm showing you Bitcoin sorry S&P Bitcoins in a second Last week, we were here. We were having a Harami signal, which is a small candle after a move. And this small candle is within the real body of the candle before. Well, the market came down, but it went up again. Went up again, just broke the last top which is a resistance, it happened yesterday, and now it's producing us a shooting star, which is by itself a reversal pattern. It's one of the uh, reversal patterns of one candle, of just one candle. Of course, we have to confirm that, but if we have an opening tomorrow, with a gap. Well, considering we have another hour, market closes at 7.30 Brazilian time. Uh, so we have another half an hour, uh, 26 minutes to be more precise, uh, for the close. But uh, it is certainly, uh, well, let's take a look in the in the 15 minute chart to see if we're not talking. No, we're not. Uh, you see, there is this channel here, market is touching the upward part of the channel, so chances are it closes by the slow here. There's a, there is a uh, reversal here uh, when the market was just breaking resistance, uh, a uh, evening star. So good chance for the market to, yes, really provide us with this um, jewelry of a candle, right? Uh, if that happens, we are going to be keeping the downward trend, lower tops. We're going to be producing a top lower than the, the, the last one. And we have already produced a lower bottom. So uh, if that happens and if the market starts falling, then I think... There's a good, very good chance for uh, we head towards the correction, the uh, 0.382 correction of this upward movement. Action, reaction, my friends. Just like in physics. And the reaction uh, follows Fibonacci projections. If that happens, we're going to have a fall of 35 percent which will mean that the world globally speaking because the s p just commands the world rules the world globally speaking the world will lose one third of its wealth and that's not going to be good it, there's going to be a recession and because we're in a much worse situation than we were in 2008 at the subprime crisis. 
uh, I think chances are that we might suffer more than we did because at that time it was ping pong. The market felt and then the government, the US government, the Fed went pumping money in the market with quantitative easings, one, two, three, and so on. That's the reason why they owed seven, uh, sorry, $9 trillion at that time. And nowadays they owe almost $22 trillion. I've said, I've said many times that if uh, that happens, there's going to be what is the so-called flight for quality. People get their money out of risk and, and uh, like uh, uh, stocks in, in, in other exotic places like Brazil, India, uh, Russia, China, and they go back to the safety. Safety. Not anymore, right? The guy owes now $22 trillion. Did I say trillion, billion before? No, it's trillion dollars, right? Nine trillion now, $22 trillion. So, flight work for quality happening. If eventually a squadron of that, uh, those, those people leaving the stock markets, land in the crypto airport, there's going to be a huge amount of money being directed to the crypto. I've, I've said the numbers already, but it's always good to repeat, to keep it in mind. There is a, a, a $26 trillion worth of market cap in, in New York Stock Exchange only. There's a $100 trillion. It says estimated $100 trillion in the world stock market. And there is 120 or something in the crypto space, $120 billion. So half of the world's half percent, one half of 1% of the world's wealth on stocks is $500 billion. So any, any situation in which people start thinking on Bitcoin and, and all the, the most important cryptos as a, a safe uh, landing situation, we can have a huge boom to the moon with Bitcoin and all the others, all the good ones. So we're keeping an eye on these cryptos, on the idea that we're thinking on the Bitcoin standard and we are trying to increase the number of Bitcoins that we own. So, uh, I really think that we might be seeing a major top in the market. Today, let us remember this day. Well, we'll talk about that next week. Let's see how it, how it goes. But as I told you, if tomorrow, market opens in a gap, then this is the perfect top, the, the, the perfect reversal for this upward movement. So let's sit and wait for tomorrow. There's another 20 minutes for the market to close. Well, uh, now we're going to Bitcoin. Uh, I want to tell you that I'm working with this channel trend line nowadays. This is the weekly chart of Bitcoin from the beginning, uh, log scale, of course. And uh, that's a correction, the Fibonacci correction, 72, uh, what is it exactly? It's a 21.4 uh, uh, correction level. The market would have reached this uh, correction, Fibonacci correction level. It's the one before uh, 0.382. Uh, so, uh, this is also the projection that we could have made from the descending triangle. And as I told you last week, and uh, it seemed that my, my analysis were, was correct, for the moment at least, uh, this was indeed a drift pattern. And these signs, these small signs that the market was giving, uh, I think they, they, they were... Uh, precious and they were very accurate because that happened right and uh, uh, so this looks very much like a upward flag oh yeah but we had the upper flag here and it came down 
Yeah, one, two, three, and then and now we have one, two, three, four, five already. I think the market is taking profits here from out of these. And uh, of course, uh, there was this false upward flag. But then if you look through Bitcoin here, see, you see a lot of flags uh, that work pretty well. Flag, 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 upward flag. Uh, that was a drift. Um, then what else? A downward flag and, and another small downward flag here. And that was, yes, indeed, a flag that came down, but the market didn't go through, didn't come down. So instead, it started to drift down. <clears throat> so I'm trusting very much that this flag is going to end up with the market going up and touching this line here at around 5000 dollars let's wait and see no so uh, let's move to the cryptos that we're keeping an eye on <clears throat> we're <clears throat> still holding a position in our science product we're holding this position in eos because it broke this resistance line and we're administrating the the, the stop orders like that look we entered here and now we, I think we just changed the, uh, yes, because as the market reached the, the first percentage risk in our favor, what we gain, because if the market comes down, it touches our stop and we lose that. If we're gaining that, we have to, we have, to have an advantage in order to keep things, uh, to, to keep the statistics of this uh, trade in our favor. And what we gain, as I told you last week, if you've seen last video, you will know about that. Let me see here. Uh, yes, EOS, uh, didn't we? Well, Somehow I didn't, I didn't get that. But I think we changed this stop here to just below 75,000 75, satoshis here. Uh, and now we're, I think we're maybe looking at a downward flag. Let's wait and see. But well, anyway, we're keeping that position and uh, we're almost in the profit side already. We had a position in Icon, but we liquidated the position. Let me show you the already chart here for you to for you to understand why we uh tighten our stop and liquidated the position first stop was here right below this accumulation and then when the market reached the green level we moved the stop to below this uh, support here and the stop was touched and we lost some some very small amount so now back to the uh to the cryptos that we're taking a, an eye on and a quick analysis of all these uh, cryptos let me organize that in alphabetic order every every chart in daily chart daily so uh, we made this um, call in Binance. It worked well. We've been stopped before the top too, before it reached the objective. But anyway, it was a good trade. So now we've reached this objective, which is uh, the all-time high of Binance. And he is feeling this uh, resistance. So let's see how that evolves. Maybe if we get a upward flag here we might enter again in that position cardano has broken this resistance trend line one two three four five touches in this line very trustable line i drawed fibonacci here and we would have the first fibonacci level right over here and that's exactly the projection the projection that we would have made that we would made if this resistance level is broke, we would project this high, uh, height here, right? 
So now uh, ADA just broke this uh, small resistance line and we're waiting to see if we're going to get an upward flag or an indication to enter this market. Cardano in Bitcoin. Everything I'm showing you is in Bitcoin. Okay. Well, by the way, uh, we have a, a feature here in, in our platform, the focus platform that transform all the scale in Satoshi instead of Bitcoin. So you don't keep all those zeros before the number. So we're talking about uh, uh, 1,150 Satoshis for, for ADA. Yeah, it would be 0 0.401150, right? We transform it into Satoshis. Now, Dash has given, a, oh, sorry, we've changed the, the close of the daily chart to, to, international close which uh, happens at 10 o'clock here so we have to download all the data from the exchanges this one is Binance and uh, before we had we had uh, taken out these bad ticks here but we haven't done that yet so that's why I'm showing we're showing that but our platform won't show that so here's uh, here's for Dash Dash broke this very important, I'd say, uh, resistance trend line. One, two, three, uh, almost four, five, six touches in the line. Went up a lot. Let's measure that. We don't have a clue. From bottom to top, it went 20%. So now we're waiting to see if it's, again, going to give us a good upward flag. And then we enter and looking far from far away we can see that we would be entered in a very nice place we would have uh, first Fibonacci correction level if we enter around here for instance would be at 44 percent upward movement so there might be a, a very good trade there waiting for us if we are uh, lucky enough to receive a message from the market before it, it, it explodes. It's crypto, you know. Uh, Ethereum Classic, it's just giving signs of life. Here we are. Uh, why did I project that? Uh, because I was probably seeing that in Bitfinex, which has more data. Let's change it to Bitfinex here. Uh, yes, well, actually, that, that was the projection of this upward movement. So, it's not, uh, we can draw that line again. Uh, let me go back to Binance. Here we go. Yeah, we just have this line here. Just have this line here and this uh, line here. And the market apparently is... He broke this line and then came down, but it's breaking this line again. Let me show you something. The indications are in technical analysis are cumulative. They add over each other. Let me show you the NASDAQ here. I'm showing you the NASDAQ and that's 2000 when the dot-com bubble burst. And let me show you what happened at that time. That was the top, right? But before the market crashed down, yes, because it felt initially 67%, ended up uh, losing 80.9, 80, 80 81% of its value. Actually, from top to bottom, it lost 83%, 84%. Well, anyway, but let me show you what happened here. We had a bull trap because the market was testing this resistance here with this upward flag. He tested it and produced a bull, uh, a bull market, a, a, a bull trap, sorry. And then it went up again. Uh, broke the resistance, the resistance level and produced as another bull trap. And then it went up again, you know. 
uh, Bruce Wills, Die Hard. Yeah, the markets die hard because, you know, there is very powerful forces acting for the market to go up. So, my friends, on the third time, one, two, three, third time, the market almost broke. Let's see if it broke, actually, this uh, level here. Let's put it in the uh, real body here. Well, I closed in the high above the, the, the last stop close, and then it went up. The, the following day, it went up, and then it came down, produced a doji, and then a reversal. So, this reversal, we have to, to take on a very important uh, way. Because it has been the third bull trap that the market had produced. Oh, not exactly a bull trap. No, let's say it, it produced two bull traps and then a reversal in, the, in a resistance area. So that reversal must be considered very seriously because it will probably produce what it has produced. See? 27% uh, in less than a month. So, back to the cryptos, we're taking an eye on, um, same thing, uh, I used Ethereum Classic to show you that example, I was uh, thinking of showing you anyway, somewhere in the video today. The accumulation of indications, which is very important in technical analysis. So we broke this line and now we're breaking this line. So we're keeping a very good eye on it, uh, Ethereum. Uh, classic. And looking at the hourly chart, we eventually will be seeing the market break this support level here. And that's gonna be the trigger. What's gonna trigger our Indication our call, our long call for Ethereum Classic. Ethereum. Well, Ethereum is Ethereum. It's the second largest uh, coin. We're always keeping an eye on it. And uh, well, is that a is that a reversal formation? Kind of weird, but uh, we're keeping an eye on that. I I don't think it's reverting anyway. I have a WhatsApp group of the most uh, important people. I, I'm a member of that group here in Brazil, and there's a lot of people in the US, all over the world, actually. And people are talking very badly about Ethereum, unfortunately. I cheer for Mr. Vitalik Buterin, but it seems that there's a lot of problems there. But anyway, we're, we're technical analysis here. No fundamentals, Fausto. Okay, so nothing to see in it here, but we're keeping an eye on it. Icon. Well, Icon produced us with a bear trap. And now I think it's flagging up. So we're keeping an eye on it. And uh, eventually, we, we've we been stopped as I, as I showed you. But eventually, uh, I wouldn't mind carrying a position in Icon. Because I think that indication is very powerful for the market at least to uh, go up a little bit more. Litecoin, Litecoin produced us with a very nice uh, rally in the beginning of the month of February, went up 32%, went up 22% in a day. And now, what is it happening? Uh, might be doing a upward flag, but I don't know. It produced, what I know is that it produced as a nice reversal with a engulfing pattern. But it, that could evolve to a uh, bullish flag. Let me show you how. <clears throat> There you got your flag. And then poof. So that's why we're keeping an eye on it. Well, uh, Monero, Monero's trying hard. It almost, uh, it you know, touched the upward 
resistance of this, I mean, the resistance of this accumulation, but it didn't go through. So, uh, well, zooming out, we can see that it is, this accumulation is happening <coughs> below this very, very, very much important support line. This support line is almost a support level, very little inclined. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five touches in the line. So I think that's a rectangle that will make prices come down. They're probably going to be testing their 1 million satoshis. Side, so 0 0.01. Bearish on Monero though. Nano. Well, Nano tried to. I thought it was producing a, a bear trap, but it didn't go through. So maybe that was just a pullback to the former support line that it's offer resistance now. So this might have been only a pullback, but we're keeping an eye because if it goes up again, it will be it will have produced a bear trap near the all times low so that's important and after it has uh, broken this uh, resistance trend line neo well neo is giving signs of life after uh, broken having broken this re resistance line important resistance line one two three four five touches dots in the line and remember that i told you uh Accumulating indications, accumulative in, in, in indications. Uh, we could get this line here and put it here, and we will see that eventually we're seeing a bottom here, a sort of a inverted head and shoulders, the left arm head, inverted head and right shoulder. So if that happens, we would easily be going to the first Fibonacci correction level which would be which is 70 70 percent away so but let's see what it what it produces here because it went up already a lot right like uh, 14 percent well not too much I would love it to to give this uh, gives a upward flag as a gift and then we enter when the it breaks the upward flag and stop right below the the flag which is very close you can increase the size of your position when you have a stop only 6.7 percent away in the crypto space ripple well mr ripple is uh are you going to respect these uh upward um symmetrical triangle or not because if you are, give me a clue, give me a sign, because I, I want to buy you, because eventually, if you go up, we will we'll have another rally like that to commemorate. Look at that. We will project that from here, and that will mean that we the objective, the objective would be 100% away. So uh, keep an eye on Ripple, because it's just testing these last support and if this is going to be called a upward symmetrical triangle then it's here's where the market is going to reverse and we're keeping an eye on that a very wide open eye on that ripple so stellar stellar might fly away like a phoenix because it's testing its uh, this support level, and I think you know this looks like a bad tick, but it's three of them at the same place. So I think that's not a coincidence. That's a support where people enter it buying stellar, and it's drifting. The drift pattern indicates a reversal. We're keeping an eye on that because eventually it pumps up. Lots of coins that will eventually pump up right and finally waves so 
we had two movements, two rallies, two upward movements. And what now? I'm expecting another one. Another one of the size of the last one would mean 193%, almost 200%. Uh, 200% from here would take the prices to to around 20 to uh, 200,000 satoshis over here. So I think, uh, yeah, this is it, my friends. Uh, thank you very much for having watched the video until the end. Please subscribe the channel, help us grow the channel. And tell your friends, publish in your, uh, in your uh, groups and everything. And I'll see you next time. Bye.